Here we are. It is hour 23 of 24 Terrible Hours. We are so close. I know I said that last time, but we're even closer. <laughs> we're closer time. now. We're closer. We're closer. And I'm 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 assuming I'm gonna actually be a mute by the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a little bit of business out of the way. First, uh, we are uh, still soliciting donations for the Southern Poverty Law Center. We up to 4,110, and that means... Well, I don't, I don't know. Never mind. Never mind. Doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Doesn't mean anything. Anyway. Yeah, yeah right. That. The yodel happened. <laughs> it means that. It means it's time. Uh, and... Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's the ticket uh, right there. The Exodus, the, the Chug <laughs> Hansen <laughs> remix. That was that was a great transition. Um, um. <laughs> oh, fucking fantastic! All right. Um, uh, so the document that we have here uh, is coming up in just a sec, but uh, we are still taking donations for the Southern Poverty Law Center. Uh, we are currently at. $75 for a cultivated document on uh, wiki, how dar wiki articles on social uh, material. And we are at $261.44 for us just picking random shit from WikiHow and having that close the episode. <laughs> uh, so still taking donations for that until the end of this hour. And this hour is Anime Fanon. Woo! Yay! Yeah! This is... Uh, <laughs> this is fandom powered by Wikia. This is always a really good place to be. It's really just encouraging. Believe it. <laughs> All right. Uh, and uh, in the room with me, I've got Booth Rain Gear. Hi. Still there? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I live yeah, at right. this computer now. You do. Jack Chick. Ah, come on, fucking time. <laughs> Jimmy Franks. Hey, everybody. <laughs> John Toast. Yay. Portex. <laughs> <laughs> and another one from Ironicus. Oh, hi -oh. Yeah. <laughs> Nani? <laughs> Your wow. artist in the stream is Positronic, and uh, we're going to fucking do this thing. And we're going to fucking start off with an anime called Red Sun. Uh, Jimmy Franks, you're fastest in the room right now, so, uh, so, uh, tell me about Red Sun. Oh, I'd love to. Great. Um, so Red Sun is an anime I want to make. It starts out as a drama at first, but later turned into a war story. It centers around a conflict between the modern-day Soviet Union and Japan. Despite this dispute being mainly <laughs> yeah. set in Japan, <laughs> it focuses heavily on the Soviet culture and military. Unlike right. most animes... Uh, Red Sun features a serious, non-comical, and non-kid-friendly tone. Oh, yeah, it's a non-kid-friendly yeah. anime. Great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Due to extreme violence, profanity, sex, blood, and gore. This show will bro... <laughs> this show will broadcast on HBO. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo! You seen that new anime, bro? I can doubt that. All right, what's the, what's the plot of Red Sun? Oh, well. Uh, after Mikhail Gorbachev's assassination... The perestroika was halted, and the Soviet Union rooted back to its Leninist routes, but still retained their reform. Uh, you want to go down on the, the Leninist route? Uh, it's an interchange with the I-69. Well, you say uh, take, uh, take a left there at, uh, at uh, the Marks Lane. And, There's just uh, a sign pointing towards the means of production. <laughs> Crossroads. <laughs> you always got to take the road Leninist traveled. Uh, oh, no. wow. Wait, wait. Oh, no. uh, but still retained their reform as newly elected president, uh, Georgi Vinogradsky, was both democratic and patriotic. <laughs> elected president, Russian Gayovich. <laughs> Despite this, the Soviet government became a lot more stricter with the use of nuclear weapons and confinstacted most of the <laughs> nuclear <laughs> material in the world. Comrade, you must confinstact the nuclear material. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't understand. What, that's not the word, I don't think. <laughs> uh, most of the nuclear material in the world, uh, except China, as the country replaced the United States as the Soviet's rival superpower. 
Under, yes. under Vinogradsky's leadership, the number of troops, technology, and training improved that it even outmatched the United States. This also led the establishment of ETO, or the Eurasian Treaty Organization. Years later, North Korean leader Kim Jong-il dies and is succeeded by his son Kim Jong-un. Later that point, Kim Jong-un asked South Korea to reunite with North Korea, but South Korea's president declined and North Korea declared war on the South. Despite the South's efforts, the KPA were victorious and had militarily reunited North and South Korea, forming the United Korean Republic. Seven months later, Russian criminals became more organized that they challenged Vinogradsky's leadership and started an insurgency, and the Russian government had no choice but let the military fight the criminals in order okay. to reorganize okay. the okay. Hey, hey, hey. This Metal Gear cut scene is super long. <laughs> uh, I got a question yes. for you, uh, creator, the Colonel, where's creator the anime? of this thing. Um, uh -huh. Do you know what the word plot means? <laughs> <laughs> because no action has happened yet. Uh, uh, Lemon, it's important yeah. to notice that the uh, running time for each episode is 30 minutes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's 27 minutes of the opening uh, uh, credits. That <laughs> it's it's just funny. a crawl for the 27 <laughs> seconds. The minutes, theme song that explains the story. The end. Yeah. <laughs> is this. These are actually the lyrics. <laughs> uh, can you uh, skip to uh, Today We Will Forgive Ourselves? I sure can. It's, it's in there somewhere. Here we go. Today we will forgive ourselves and we will remember the dream great comrade Lennon tried to give us. Comrade. <laughs> Come on, Raid. Come on, Raid. It's a delicious Russian drink. That's um, delicious. We will finally receive his dream. Someday our infalance and our cause will unite the world. One day when the sun rises up and the color turns from yellow to red, the symbol uh, of get our mother. Out. The symbol of our motherland will fly across the world. It will also be the day his dream had finally come true. Yura! Yura! It centers around a violent 18-year-old high school student named Helen or uh, what? Heishi. What? <laughs> yeah. It centers around a violent 18-year-old high school student named Heishi Nishir Corey. Okay. <laughs> I think they buried the lead on that one. That, yeah. last <laughs> sentence, that last sentence was the plot. That's actually <laughs> the entire plot right there. At the very last sentence, the person writing this is like, oh shit, this is supposed to be an anime. Oh, Fuck, there's, all right. a, uh, there's a character. There's a character. Uh, Violet High School Heishi Nishikori. There we go. go, go, go. <laughs> Her friend was like, um, shouldn't there be a main character in your story? Oh shit! Uh... <laughs> 18-year-old high school student. All right. Uh, so, uh, Ironicus. Yeah. Uh, I want you to tell me about your anime called Marshall oh. Marshall Legends. <laughs> My anime is great. My anime does <laughs> not I have the problem. Can point out anime Gorbachev on the screen? Right now? <laughs> oh, that's super cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm <laughs> I've been studying these. <laughs> I've been studying these other animes, and I'm not going to fall into the same trap as the last one. I have okay. characters. Oh, great! So, oh, what's good. the yes. uh, so so what what's the story, by the way? Well, uh, never mind. It. I'm, <laughs> you want to hear the story or just the character? You know what? I want to hear a little bit of the story. I okay. want to get into well, it. Well, I mean, the story mainly revolves on a village named Pigsty Town. Spinning <laughs> <laughs> constantly. <laughs> Home to the descendants of the legendary martial artist. It all begins when a bounty hunter, Gaston, son of a Chinese master and a Frenchwoman, set off on an important errand for the King of France. On the other hand, the king sent General Napoleon and his right-hand man, Dark, to suck every single Dark. village's dry, so the pigsty town was next on his list. Fantastic. You said you had a character named Gaston? I want to yes. hear about that. The main protagonist, Gaston, was a bounty hunter who was a master of dragon-style martial arts. He was busy running errands for the king. He was based on the villain of the story. Of the Disney version of the story, because it's what? supposed to be beauty. Look, hey, hey, you can... It's a common French name. Let me get through the rest of the characters. <laughs> okay, 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 fine. Maybe it's not a rip-off of the Disney Yeah, version. I mean... Okay, I, I want to hear about Belle. You have a character named Belle? <laughs> yes. Gaston's love interest, a female kung fu practicer whose style is the crane kung fu style. <laughs> she works as a librarian, and she was based on one of the main characters of the story. 
LeFou was Gaston's sidekick, who's a former Shaolin monk. I feel <laughs> it might be. I still Look, it's what? not. It's not. Okay, this tell me about Governor Maurice. Maurice. All right, Governor Maurice resembles Maurice from Disney's Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it, it might be based on Disney's I version. don't know where you're getting that from. He was a former drunk master who is Belle's father. <laughs> I oh, wish no. Beauty and the Beast was Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> okay, so General Napoleon? Uh, General Napoleon is one of the main antagonists. He is not the same Napoleon Bonaparte. However, they both great generals. <laughs> okay. Um, and, mm. and, then, and then finally, uh, you have a character whose name is The Beast. The true antagonist was based on the hero of the story. He was the number one killer and master of the White Lotus arts. <laughs> I get it. No, no, no. It makes sense. So it was a person who watched Beauty and the Beast and said, you know who the most sympathetic character is here? Gaston. <laughs> yeah, and they're absolutely right. He was fighting to uh, get rid of the, the imperial control. He, he was overthrowing the monarchy. He's the people's hero. Absolutely. Keeping Bell captured in the 36 chambers. The brothers <laughs> Grimm are assassins? <laughs> All right, uh, John Toast. I think you're gonna like. I think you're gonna like this title a lot. Eh? Yeah, you're gonna like this title a whole lot. Oh, oh okay. Mm. Oh, Shinda. <laughs> this, this thing is called Project Reddit. You lar. Oh, Reddit. You lar. <laughs> I would love to see what Japanese businessmen think of Reddit. <laughs> that would be an interesting cartoon. <laughs> Ridiculous. Hi, everyone. This is Project Ridiculer. <laughs> the Adventures of Ridiculer is a sci-fi and fantasy anime by name that is the creator of many rage manga. Oh, fucking mm -hmm. this, ah. this manga won a gold award at the Meme Manga Con, previously <laughs> called, you're going to love this, you ready? Mm -hmm. Trollol Con. Ah! Mm -hmm. I, Good one. I, love that, I love that they had oh to go God. through a process of renaming a convention uh, based on memes over the, the meme that they named it after being outdated. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you know, this I thought I... anime is so random. <laughs> I thought I'd hate this, but I actually get more delight from <laughs> Lemon's pain. So actually... Yeah, it kind of fuels me. So. I'm glad I can bring you joy. The Yay! chat is not happy, though. The chat is very upset. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just swallowed their own tongue. Sorry about that. Um, based on a series of Reddit comics from r slash rage novels. Oh, God. <laughs> By Reddit... Is that going to be a future? <laughs> novels? Really? By Reddit or someone terrible. Uh, so here's a plot. Okay. Long ago, in a land called Interneternia. Hmm. Oh, very good. Very good. Very good. Mm. Wonderful. Uh, this is world building, guys. Yeah, like yeah. this person is is painting a rich tapestry. Oh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> Come with me, and you'll see. The internet wizard Redic Shit. <laughs> Redic yep. The internet wizard Ridiculer is covering his brain with more magic when suddenly a guard reported that the monsters of inner internet have attacked the land. He sent some warriors, Fudale, Derpinha, and Rageston oh and himself God. to save internet Turnia. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yay! Okay, so you got some characters. I want to hear about a couple of your characters. Okay, Tell so me about Reddit, Ular. Reddit, Ular is a male internet wizard. He is 18 years old and uses fire magic in many episodes. See, because Flame War, get it? <laughs> <laughs> and then Foodale? A male assassin. He's 18 years old. Okay. <laughs> this, oh, God. I don't like saying these words. What about Derpenha? <laughs> Uh, that name you just said is the youngest <laughs> in the team. She is an archer with extraordinary powers. She is also an elf, seventeen years old. Um, mm. And then uh, Ragaston, a noble swordsman who defeated Octavius in Chapter Two. Oh, spoilers, buddy. Jesus, what? He what? is eighteen what? years old. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm sorry. I didn't. <laughs> Cancel Man, I my subscription. To... What's the point? Follow along, idiot. I don't... Okay. I'm not sure what Octavius is supposed to be. To me, By the way, I want to point out that yeah. uh, the drawing now is a anime crying forever alone face. <laughs> <laughs> anime forever alone. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, you have some antagonists. Let's talk about them. Uh, oh, you've got here. you've got trolls. Uh, they're the normal troll faces. Can be defeated when not giving an insult. When the defeater says it is terrible, it will become stronger. 
Okay. That, okay, that doesn't make any sense. Because <laughs> they're feeding the trolls, Jack. Jeez. You, you doing all right there, Lemon? <laughs> so What's the, the, the first of those uh, other characters? I, I'd like to know yeah. more about that interesting person. Oh, mm -hmm. the other characters? You want to know about Herp Derpaletteburger? <laughs> yeah. Great. Well, that's Good. the son of the noble Derpaletteburger the fourth. <laughs> 17 years old and guard of base of the meme. Oh, Yay! No. Oh, no. Oh, I'm no. so tired of all these West Coast people saying, oh, you haven't eaten at Derpaletteburger? You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> How good can it really be? Get it, get it Flame War style. It's a secret menu. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, and that's a prison for rogues, by the way. Uh, base of the meme. And uh, you also may want to know about Slurpina Yukashiro. Yeah, I do. I super do. Yeah. A shrine made in 9G Shrine in uh, Nine Gag City. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! That's the one I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Lemon. Yeah. That person knows gag magic, rage magic, and meme magic. Mm. Ooh, we have a lot in common. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. She's also a childhood friend of Ridiculer. She lives in Herpaderp City. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> ah, she's 18 to, years old. They need to update this page because I don't see Harambe in here anywhere. <laughs> yes. Great. Well, guys, I, I know you're. A, here's a touchstone for everyone here, though. Her personality and appearance is similar to Nagiko, Nagiko Kurakawa and the Japanese mobile romance online game GF Beta. I'm sure we all know. I mean, yeah, oh yeah, her. You've got a couple chapters that happen in your comic. What's chapter five called? I, I do. Chapter five is called the Lore of Four Chan. <laughs> now on Dateline. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculer enters 4chan and meets some important characters. Important! Debuts to be announced. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And Ironicus, chapter... Ironicus, can you just uh, read what Trav there put in the chat? <laughs> uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Take me down to Herpaderp City where the memes are spicy and the rage is petty. <laughs> Take me home. By the way, before we move on, I just want to point out chapter six is deeper into the bowels and <laughs> good, good. And Ridiculer enters the deeper parts of 4chan. Well, <laughs> you know, Ridiculer's gonna show up on the news tomorrow, I think. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jesus Christ. Okay. 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 Uh, the next uh, anime uh, that we're talking about here is called Spices. 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 Uh, uh, and uh, Jack Chick, if you'll just uh, give us a little bit uh, of an overview about Spices, please. Uh, yeah, sure. Just uh, let me find that uh, real quick. Page seven. Yep. Got yep. it. Spices is an anime containing art from Hayao Miyazaki that was pr sponsored by Pizza Hut in order to get uh, no. more attraction to it. <sighs> No, no, uh, that's anime, not a thing. No, anime was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> My neighbor stuffed crust Totoro. <laughs> <laughs> Marco Rosso pizza. Howl's moving White Castle. <laughs> <laughs> Clapsons. It ended up turning into one of the most successful anime in America and Japan, and Pizza Hut renewed their license to sponsor the show, claiming that their customer rate was up 45% because of it. The uncut DVDs are rated TVPG, but the show contains minor edits on the hub and is rated TVY7F7. FB? I don't know. Yeah. I love when I love when these fake wikis get granular about this shit. <laughs> no, this is really how it happened. <laughs> and again, I just like to say, uh, again, huge shout outs to another one of our sponsors, Pizza Hut. Again, totally supportive of the thing. Thank you, Pizza Hut. We really Game appreciate it. We really appreciate the uh, support. A hundred percent. No, they agree no matter it. how many pe letters people write, you do not pull your endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> so in the summary. Four completely opposite teens. Is this the Breakfast Club? What, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the great works of Hayao Miyazaki. As by, way, by, by, by the way, the before, it moves, club. before it moves away in the chat, Lag Ranger said, My neighbor, my neighbor Totitos. So I just wanted to say <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Good job. <laughs> Princess Luna, goody princess who gets whatever she wants. Sakai, emo shut-in kid, 
XL, off the wall teenage girl, and Sokka, the only normal one of the group. Wow, this wow, you're breaking not, every convention. This is not at all how his movies go. What a ragtag bunch. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they'll get, al get a along despite their differences in the same today. <laughs> they found themselves coming together, wanting to make battling their career choice due to the fact that it will free them from adulthood. Wait, so they'll die? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wish I could be freed of my adulthood. Well, right well actually, that's covered in the next uh, sentence. Um, in between battling, they often go to Pizza Hut in filler scenes <laughs> slash episodes. Oh filler God. episodes so it can catch up to the manga. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got to catch up to the manga by having them just eat pizza for you know. It's actually a it's actually a ramen place with like Pizza Hut is like badly superimposed over it. <laughs> oh, that would be so it's like the reverse like American censorship. Yeah. Oh, I love Pizza Hut. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna, I guess, do some quotes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some exciting quotes. What's the first? What's the? What episode is the first quote from? Well, this is from episode two. Battling is my career choice. Ha! Yeah. All right. So I, starting I took out with one of those placement exams. It told me so. <laughs> so we'll start out with Excel. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. I mean, we have a princess with us. A princess, silly princess. Princesses aren't supposed to battle. And then Princess Luna. Cortex. Who's, oh, that's me. Okay. I yep. think she's being unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> just Cortex just doesn't like the works of Miyazaki. I mean, <laughs> that's true. That's why I'm so angry right now. It's guys, can Don't I call me a princess? I have a name. Sure thing, Princess Zelda. Wow, that's a burn. Mm -hmm. Later that episode, you. Game addict? Are you kidding me, writers? Are you bleep kidding me with these pop culture references? Oh yeah, man, that's, yeah, so that's so what Miyazaki's bad. movies are like. Mm, yep, so good, <laughs> yep. so mm -hmm. good. Pop culture references and smug looks at the camera. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and then this. Oh yeah. yeah, this one's from episode twelve at the beach. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry. <laughs> uh, it's nice to be here and relax. <sighs> I know, right? No, what? Come on. Oh, no, sorry. Come on. I th sorry, I thought uh, Jimmy Frank said that it wasn't signed. <laughs> well, there's two dirty old men in here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is. It sounds like it's a party. Pizza Totoro is also making me laugh right now. Pretty good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Pretty good. <laughs> <sighs> I know. Right. Miyazaki. Ah, uh, get away from me, you unclean beast! Beat you, beat you with my purse! Him so you're Ruth Buzzy? <laughs> yeah. Anime Ruth Buzzy now? I you... would love to see an anime of Ruth Buzzy. You, you mean old dirty man, Desu? <laughs> From episode 5, cheer up, Sakai. Cheer up, cheer up, come on, Sakai, quit being emo so we can go battle some monsters. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even rhyme! Excel gives Luna the bird off screen as she continues singing. Did, did, did you just flip me off? You did not flip me off, lower life form. Note on the hub, the last line is cut. Oh, man. Oh, no. We could say lower life form on TV. No. But flipping off is fine on the children's <laughs> note? From episode nine, Cats and Dogs. This episode is called Cats and Dogs? Oh, oh gosh, not that movie right. again. What? Oh gosh, not that movie again. It caused me physical and emotional pain. Smiles. On second thought, I really enjoyed that film. Do you guys want to quit breaking the fourth wall so we can go to Pizza Hut? It's so fucking Pomo. It's great. I love it. I think I'm I think I'm dangerously close to unironically loving that one. <laughs> I, yeah, no, for real. I would love to see Miyazaki make this. Like, <laughs> I, I strongly believe this is an insult to life itself. I love it. <laughs> yes, good. I love it in Deadpool. Why not have it in everything else? <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. Uh, okay, so... Uh, Breaking this... the fourth dimensional walls. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Uh, so this next uh, thing uh, is called Knack and Psycho. Uh, for the Psycho Saturn. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
Uh, John Toast, I think you should uh, take us through this here. Hey there. This is about Knack and Psycho, also known as Fang and Psycho, bunch of Japanese and Japanese. <laughs> so yep. This is a fa- Oh, God. Okay. Yep, yep. yep. <clears throat> Uh, this is a fan make anime version of the Sam and Max series and more. Boo! 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to know what the more is. I really want to know what the more is. <laughs> Bringing in familiar characters, new and old, into the series as Knack and Psycho themselves as many wacky adventures together. I think Steve Purcell might actually be interested in seeing this. Though. <laughs> so what's the uh, what's the plot? What's the plot of your of your thing? After former bounty hunter Knack the Weasel loses his sister, along with his old comrades of the Rock Solid, and now having to struggle with a relationship with Rouge the Bat gone sour, Knack becomes an officer with one of the only other surviving friends he has, Psycho the Insane Weasel. Psycho the Insane Weasel. Okay, yeah, 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 gotcha. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I hate However. This. Why do you hate this? <laughs> <laughs> However, because weasels and bats can't date. No, oh, okay. When they take their first case together, Nack begins to realize that he must move on, and after dealing slash avenging the one who murdered his sister and comrades, Nack and Psycho become freelance police and take on many wacky villains while dealing with a chair-headed man, a racist okay. country singer who after who's after imaginary friends. Okay, that's okay. Yep. Wolves. An Urkin corrupted by toxic waste. From Invader Zim! <laughs> a dealing with the devil. That's what he meant by more. The tick. <laughs> yeah, the first one's mm -hmm. the tick. Time traveling. TV stars gone haywire. Mm -hmm. An annoying fanatic. That's the character I identify with the most. <laughs> <laughs> Some fourth wall breaking. Good. <laughs> more of that. Yay! Other friends, old and new, who help the duo out, and three annoying former stars with something more on their on their mind. What the fuck? Where's the Let's Pizza Hut tie-in? <laughs> <laughs> I just took everything I watched on Saturday and made it my own thing. <laughs> uh, do you guys remember the other uh, F Plus episode we were doing that uh, featured the character of uh, Killian Darcy? I. I've oh, forgotten every spell. episode. I okay, good. Out. My life is pain right now. Just one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so um, so uh, that was showed up in one of those fan wiki things, uh, and we're gonna learn some more about the Killian Darcy adventures. Oh, good. Okay. So, uh, Portax, why don't you take us through the Killian Darcy adventures, please? Sure. Let's look at the Killian Darcy adventures, the new anime movie series. Movie series when a 15 year old boy is chosen to summon blue eyes shiny dragon oh, you go. <laughs> with this pyramid of light have amazing adventures okay. with his friends and brothers in only five arcs that's, <laughs> that's great that's great five arcs five arcs so how many arcs. arcs do you list on your wiki uh obviously three don't yeah. be stupid <laughs> <laughs> two secret arcs <laughs> uh, well, you know what? I, I don't have time for all three of them. I'd just like to hear your second arc, please. Okay. Arc two, school life's... <laughs> <laughs> school life's adventures, part one. Uh, it should be noted that arc three is not part two <laughs> of this, but anyway. Mm -hmm. Killian and Lorcan are now 11 and heading to Duel Academy for their first year. Lorcan is in Sylphs is in Slipher Red, and Killian is in Bry Yellow. Oh, and they yeah. meet Chumley, Huffington, Cyrus, Truesdale, Chaz, Princeton, Jasmine, and Minnie. <laughs> that's all, that's that's all one name. person. Yeah, that's all yeah, one yeah, person. Well, and Mindy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you may call me Chumley. Oh, and that's Mindy. She tags along. <laughs> yeah, that's her. That's his caddy. Yeah. But Crowler don't like Killian because his deck is weak, but then he saw Killian's blue eyes shiny dragon and found out that Killian is a chosen one of the light, and Killian decided to leave Duel Academy and go on a trip around the world. That was uh, almost From the top of the line. <laughs> In the second year, Killian met darkness and dropped out that darkness in is his quadruplet brother, and then the light of destruction has appeared and take over the world, so then Killian and his brothers must save the world. What? What are, <laughs> what, that what follows, is, yeah. What is happening? Look, it Hi, makes I'm, dark I'm darkness! Do you believe in a thing called love? <laughs> <laughs> in the beginning of the newest year, Killian, Lorcan, Nightmare, and Darkness attended North High and joined the SOS Brigade, but then an evil monster wants to take over the world, so then the boys must fight the monsters and save the world. Uh -huh. 
while Killian mm-hmm. told Koizumi and Kiana a story about his long journey and told them about his duel against his enemy. The brigade got captured by the softies. Killian is about to duel him, so the ancient monster called an earthbound immortal made Killian fights and won, and then he made the SOS brigade so angry he kicked him out. Mm-hmm. After Killian's left the club, he ventures to Ireland to see his truth, and Dark Killian appears and duel him and lost. What the f- Mm. And finally, Killian, Lork, and Nightmare in the Darkness are off on some adventures and won't be back a while. This story arc is on hiatus. Yay! (laughs) Hang on, this arc is also the first appearance of the fifth Darcy triplets, Death, Alex, and Soul. Killian, Lork, and Nightmare's brother, Darkness, and also Haruhi, Kion, Koizumi, Mikuru, and Yuki! Did you uh, did you mention, by the way, that that entire thing was written in title case? Yeah, well, that's because uh, yeah, that's the name of one episode. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the subtitle. Oh, um, God. On hiatus, first Hunter Hunter, and now this. And Jesus. like the episode itself is just two people staring at each other for twenty minutes. <laughs> uh, boots, boots. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I got, I got one, I got one little thing from uh, uh, the anime fanon, uh, and it's called, it's called Pilot Warriors. <laughs> Will you tell me the plot of Pilot Warriors? Well, I want to tell you, uh, I want to tell you, can I give you like the background information of it first? Oh yeah, please, yeah, that'd be so great. That'd Pilot be great. Warriors is a, uh, it's Pilot Warriors. It's a format mm-hmm. of an anime series. It's created by, gotcha. mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and on it's the created English by Frank <laughs> 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 it airs on the Right Stuff Network. Spell with okay, only one F. I don't um, think anyway, I get that. In my cable warriors here. Uh, just you know, like pay close attention. Don't want to miss anything. Gotcha. Gonna gonna. Yep. All right. In the year 2024, mankind flies with jets and saves the world against the shadow pilots. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Yay! Tell me more. No. <laughs> I told you everything. Oh, I told you everything. Uh, the thing is, okay, already a much better hook than the first thing that we read. <laughs> I told myself I wouldn't binge watch another anime series, but I think I just did. <laughs> cool. I mean, I mean, who are the shadow pilots, really? You just don't know. It could be anything, so... Maybe the shadow pilots are. are That's a new uh, Alex Jones documentary. Oh, the shadow shadow pilot was Pilot X's brother all along. Yeah. (laughs) I like to watch anime. (laughs) I like to watch anime. (laughs) I like to eat Pocky. (laughs) (laughs) But if you're one who can do to watch anime, and I haven't seen my brother in three years, ha ha. I like Lemon's new I like to eat Pocky character. <laughs> it's Alex, it's anime Alex Jones. Anime Alex Jones. Anime Jones. All right. Uh ha ha anime Jones. All right. Let's talk <laughs> vampires. Uh, <laughs> Damn it. We, we are uh, it's fine. It's fine. Sorry. It's all fine. Sorry. Uh, we are moving uh, from uh, animefamine.wikia.com uh, to the uh, ideas wiki, uh, but we are specifically in the uh, anime section of the ideas wiki. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good is right. Oh, so, uh, Ironicus, uh, yeah. why don't you tell me a little bit about Bo Tanaka 007? That's the same link. He'd love to, but that's linked to Pilot Warriors. All right. Uh... <laughs> The world what, the what am I? Come what on. I, I'm not what, I, super what I wanted to say was edit point. Okay. So, <laughs> dear people in the chat, these are the kind of things that happen that you miss when you're not in the room when we're recording. Enjoy. Well, do it live! Fuck it! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, yeah, why don't you know Bo Tanaka, please? Well, Bo Tanaka, a fictional character for the parody of the James Bond series created by Ian Fleming. When a gas attendant, Bo Tanaka, who was gassing up cars when his manager Scratchy, who tells Bo to get back to work, but encountered by Betty Boop, when Bo talks to her, but Scratchy strangles him and throw him into the Boop's car, and Scratchy checks the engine, but Bo starts the engine's key and chops Scratchy's arm when Bo sets off the bomb and escapes with Boop when the bomb will go off and drives away. Just <sighs> <laughs> in Mohora, Japan, <laughs> Asuna and Kanoka were working in the swimming pool for their career. In MI6 Hong Kong, Bo was given by M to search something that was related to terrorism in Mahora when Treville gives Bo the Walther PP9 and the tomato backpack with gadgets and a WA-2000 sniper rifle, and he's off to Mohora. Anime crossovers, James Bond movie. Yeah, take that, Ian Fleming. <laughs> what the fuck is a tomato was that backpack? Just scratchy from Itchy and Scratchy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> huh. 
That's what I'm going with. Uh, all right. Um, the next one is called Super Princess Daisy to the Rescue. Ooh. Uh, Hi, I'm Daisy. Hi, I'm Daisy. <laughs> In the dock there, and uh, Jack Chick, if you will uh, tell me about Super Princess Daisy to the rescue. Yeah, I'd be really excited to. Super Princess Daisy to the rescue, known in Japan as Let's Go Fight the Clockwork Flower Robo Princess Daisy to the rescue. A bunch of Japanese characters. A lot of Japanese. Eko not what it says. Tadake, Kyujo no Take, Shikake, Hana Robo Purinsetsu Deji is an anime film directed by Mario Edward Soto Robinson based on the Nintendo characters of the Super Mario franchise. Tired of being not tired of not being able to conquer oh, the Mushroom Kingdom, the King Koopa just fires with the mad scientist named Doctor Fawful, alias the Goose Screen, and General mm -hmm. Kane, an evil dictator and corporate leader, and how he went from his evil plan can't kidnap friends of Mar Mario and Daisy. Daisy, hearing of this, must rescue her friends and must save the entire world from Fawful and General Kane threat. But she isn't alone <laughs> because she has the help of a secret agent called Edward McFry, a robot named Rob, a magical doll named Gino, a cloud boy named Mallow, a pink Goomba named Goombella, an orphan. Koopa Troopa named Koops and other friends more. An orphan Koopa Troopa. Those, okay. Those are all Koopa actually from Mario games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every yeah. single one of those are from, yeah. Great. Edward Good. McFry. Good idea. Okay. <laughs> McFry, I don't know about <laughs> the rest. But she must prove that the, that the love to life is whatever she has value. But the truth about her is that she's a robot and also she tries to find remembers about her past. Meanwhile, Mario Bros. has interfered in a race around the world, but Fawful designed of the evil plan to the race to eliminate all the racers. Therefore, Daisy also has to rescue her friend. Watch out, Mario. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking wacky races. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, Info Wars Pocky is on the screen. Right? <laughs> uh, Monsieur Boots mm -hmm. Um This this one. <laughs> TM Turtle says Jack is an anti breather <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just I'm just so distracted. I'm sorry, I'm just so distracted by the drawing. All I like can picture is him just like yelling in a microphone. It's like the top of Mob Psycho 100 is ruining America. Crash, 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 crash. Pizza, 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 pizza. We've been following Miyazaki Pizzagate from the beginning. Oh. 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 Stream over early. Thanks for coming, everybody. <laughs> All right, uh, boots. Mm -hmm. uh, this anime is called Fluffle McFeather. Yeah. <laughs> so that it is. Okay. Got, um, yeah. Oh, we're on the wait, we're on the idea wiki now. <laughs> yeah. No, but we're in the idea wiki, but we're still talking about uh, anime. Okay. So yeah, I know. But just, okay. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. yep. uh, Fluffle McFeather is a 2014 anime created by Universal Television and Aniplex. Mm -hmm. It is the first anime to air first in the U.S. and also <laughs> airs in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> on a channel called Tokyo Broadcast System. Okay. Okay, so you got some creatures. Uh, yeah. Tell me about Fluffle McFeather. <laughs> uh, Fluffle McFeather is the main character of the anime. She is light beige with a magical feather on her ear and has a peacock-like tail. That's not their tail. Anyway, keep going. <laughs> Is that the actual full description of what the character looks like? Okay, that's weird. Yep. <laughs> that's really weird. Yeah, is she a person? Is she like a beast? Like what? That leaves a lot of options. So, uh, she's just, no, positronic no, she's like, ideas. She's like she's like Kirby. <laughs> she's like a she's light, a light, light beige. Well, look from from the from the description I'm getting here, she is a light beige ear with a peacock tail. Their own interpretation of Fluffle McFeather she's, and submit to the a, a She's just an ear with a feather and a peacock tail. Oh god! Uh, wait, oh wait, she doesn't have a tail until she fell off a palm tree and got her tail after landing hard. Oh, that's yeah. how that happens. Yeah, uh, she's the loyal friend to a human team named Misaki and likes to hang out with the other creatures. In Japanese, she is known as Kibakai. Great. Uh, then there's uh, Norville Flappington, a purple wingless bat who is Fluffy's best friend. He is smart, intelligent, and likes to read books. His favorite food he likes to eat is tomato soup, in which he thinks that the tomato is blood because he is a bat. 
He's a dumb bat. <laughs> he doesn't have any arms either. <laughs> In Japanese, he's At known what as what point is a wingless bat just a mouse? Blair, I like it's to be the Campbell's tomato soup. <laughs> the, the frustrated oh. screen oh. shakes we get from. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the rage. <laughs> 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 It's like our only way to communicate. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pop him with feathers looking good, though. Uh, Vern von Stickelmott. Vern von Stickelmott. Mock. A red-haired Lenner type of bird with a spike collar with chains. She likes uh, to attack wait, wild animals. Is that actual bird? Does that seem fine? Uh, sure. Why okay. not? <laughs> fine with Continue. Uh, Japanese, she's known as Tsukuyama. Uh, Molly Burrowton. Anyone want to guess what Molly Burrowton is? Um, <laughs> a it's large a male doll. No, he's poorly he's designed. Mil- yeah, <laughs> probably. Which resembles me. He's Burrows. a delicious sauce used in Mexican food. <laughs> <laughs> delicious. Uh, which resembles Major Burroughs from Super Mario Galaxy, who was friendly to Fluffle and the gang. He is gentle and active. In Japanese, he's known as Mori. Um, Alcyon you Mythica. are not the anime. <laughs> Alcyon Mythica is a mint blue <laughs> otter mixed with mixed in with a seal. <laughs> uh, it's like a mechanical mixture. They just they're just like in a, in a vat. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a pile of goo with random otter and seal parts. Oh, yeah. Kill me! Yeah, I should have been. <laughs> Quaid. Uh, <laughs> Quaid. Sama. <laughs> Quaid. Desu. Nanda <laughs> Deska. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, hello. That? Oh, that was me. Sorry. Hey, do you like it? Okay. <laughs> that sound means it's time to go. <laughs> so, that sounded like a bourbon cork to me. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like a uh, like a poster tube being open. Like Frank was like, and now we can announce the winner of the post. It doesn't make any sense. Um, <laughs> That's has- what happens when I flick the metal frame. <laughs> yeah, oh, keep doing yeah. that. You love it. You like it? Oh, keep doing yeah. it. That's good. Frank West's one-man jug band over there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on, fucking <laughs> I can stop reading this. Okay, great. Um, uh, that means that we have to uh, come down to the end of this document, and that means that we've got Jimmy Franks in the room, and we have to give him a choice. We must. We must. Yay. We must. Right. And then we'll take the thing well, he doesn't take. We'll I do am it for the next 100% slide. of my mental faculties, so I'm sure I will not fail you all in <laughs> my ability to choose. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's one of those things, like, like you know, if somebody gets amnesia and they don't know their name, they if you're uh-huh. Jimmy Franks, you still know how to choose the right document. Yeah, it's like, it's muscle memory at this point. Yeah, split <laughs> <just> instinct. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Jim, Jimmy Franks, your mm. two options are... <laughs> Pick that one. Pick that one. All right, what's your second a, choice? That's a pretty solid choice, I hear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, your two options are uh, the anti heroes with a Z. Oh, I, th- <laughs> I thought you were going to say with the G. With the G. That sounds pretty extreme with two X's, but uh, let's hear what else you got. Sure does. Uh, and then uh, the epic battle against Dora Lynx. Oh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, oh. Mm-hmm. Yep. I kind of like the I like the first one. I like the first okay. one. I'm going to I'm going to convention here and go with number 1. Wow, wow. Holy shit. Okay. Uh so here are the anti-heroes. I can see from oh, the God. I can see from the every <laughs> character that uh it's Matt Hardy, Venom, Deadpool. I don't know what that purple thing is. It's clip art vomit. <laughs> Marceline and Marceline. Rigby? Is that, is it Rigby? Yeah, from the yeah. regular wait, show. Yeah. Wait, wait, is that Shawn Michaels? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's Matt Hardy. Oh, it's Matt Hardy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. what the hell? Uh, I, and also, oh, the the that purple thing is not a character. That's the letter T. You fools. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> Poking Matt Hardy in the butt. It's like a ransom note of trademarked characters. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever want to see them again. 
<laughs> okay. All right. The so... original the characters have been stolen. If you ever <laughs> want to see them alive again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, tell me about the Antiheroes, please. The Antiheroes Z is a movie from Fox Searchlight, Marvel, Cartoon Network, and WWE that features seven different individual people from different universes wanted to save the world, not just for good, but bad things too. What? Wait, so what are they saving the world from? <laughs> Not sure. Medium things? <laughs> My thesis is unclear. Fuck Team the Rube status quo. Away. <laughs> Making the world safe for mixed bags. <laughs> two steps forward and two steps back. <laughs> the anti-heroes. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, tell me yeah. more. Play me more, please. Oh, yes. The story. This the movie starts with an African-American male was tied up in the chair. And Nick Fury, Agent Coulson, and Maria Hill tried to give answers from that team. <laughs> African American really a useful useful term to use there. Those mm -hmm. last words don't mean anything. The <laughs> team says his, his name. <laughs> okay, thanks. The team says his name Marcus Banks and explain what happened. What happened? <laughs> the scene started hey, really what well. happened? I was tied up to this chair and I'm all like what happened <laughs> <laughs> the scene started when a normal 15 year old Marcus Banks helping his mother moved in the house then he saw Norman Osborne on TV he said that Norman is an evil person and can't be trusted his mother disagreed and told him not to talk to him that way one night he saw another planet that gets closer and closer at Oscorp, Norman with Doc October <laughs> trying I, I, to do Doc an October. experiment. <laughs> do you remember? <laughs> Doctor October. I thought Doctor October was a character in Watchmen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, compelling stuff, man. It really is. Really is. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Um. Uh. So you've got. Uh, you've, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Meet your anti-heroes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that the picture of it? Good. Yeah. That was re really good. I mean, I mean, thank you for po Positronic for drawing that so quickly. <laughs> yeah, really good. Yeah. Yeah. Positronic is really impressive. Watch what happens when it goes back. Such a style chameleon. Just... I mean, the clipping job he did on Jeff Hardy in particular is amazing. <laughs> good job. How you did that so fast? I don't know. Uh -huh. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, it's like it sort of like an American cartoon character was like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, I don't got the anime. What are we doing? Uh, okay, so you've got you've got a bunch of uh, anti heroes, uh, which we saw in the photo. You got you know your yeah. your, your Jeff Hardy and whatnot, and uh, yeah. uh, then your heroes, uh, including Jake the Dog, Princess Bubblegum, Flame uh -huh. Princess, Fiona the Human Girl, etc. Et John et Cena. Et uh... <laughs> Cena. Oh, and, <laughs> and, and Trey, Rob Van yeah. Dam. Yeah, yeah. Nova and the Nova Core. I, uh, I do oh, like okay. that. Uh, all my, the my... There was a bunch of actors for the anti heroes. It's not worth going through them, but I just love that it's all they all actually have different actors listed, but it's just Jeff Hardy as himself. <laughs> so, it's awesome. like a sitcom. Yeah. <laughs> like you're going to find anybody else who can play Jeff Hardy I the know. way Jeff Hardy can play Jeff Hardy. <laughs> uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a note of trivia here that I really like. Yeah, what's uh, that? Stone Cold was supposed to be the neutrals, but he was replaced by Sin Cara. Oh, who's that? Every time, yeah. every yeah, time. Cast Stone Cold. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to hear about the villains. Uh, I don't know why there's villains in something called the Antiheroes, but that's fine. Yeah. Well, it's a uh, <clears throat> it's an organization known as Osborne Sinner Seven Even, which I think is supposed <laughs> to be like one even seven. Title seven, seven, yes. seven and <laughs> uh, Norman Osborn, Green Goblin is the main, main villain and alongside him are Ash yep. from Pokemon Doug right. from the cartoon Doug Garnet <laughs> McLean uh, CM Punk CM Punk of course we, st we have now started and ended this, this live stream with CM Punk that's great <laughs> yeah uh, and again, Taskmaster. big big thank you to our uh, another one of our sponsors, CM Punk. He's <laughs> so supportive of the stream. So he support, was like, so "No, you, I really want you to read this stuff and put my name on it." And so, <laughs> big shout outs. 
and uh, Marvel villains Taskmaster and Carnage. Okay, so. <laughs> and then some original characters with yeah, scare quotes, no including one. CEO. <laughs> <laughs> I I have another bit of trivia I have to read. Oh please, please. Well, I want you all to know that Venom is from outer space, but he came to Earth as a baby. Similar to Superman's origins, his planet was destroyed. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Great. Uh, Eric Frenzy in Darkness is similar to Eddie Brock and Venom from Spider-Man, as they want vengeance on the hero. <laughs> I'm back! Darkness again! <laughs> Rigby is really ugly. Giant tits. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, Rigby's into those giant tits. <laughs> oh! All right. Uh, yes, uh, that was hour 23, and that means that we are... Coming down to our last hour, uh, you people uh, uh, voted with your Southern Poverty Law Center uh, donations, and uh, you have decided that we are allowed to pick random things from WikiHow, and thank oh, no. you. Thank you so oh, much. Man. I was I'm so glad it ended that way. I was riveted. It was a pretty close race, you know, so it was <laughs> oh, nice to see, <laughs> see it turn out like this. So good. So good. It's, it's, it's a lot closer than the... Uh... The, the Dolls versus This one. Yeah, Dolls sure. versus yep. This was... Uh, that was, that was yeah. more than 10 to 1. <laughs> <laughs> Did Dolls, uh, Dolls got like three, right? Three dollars. No, it was this. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. It was 69, uh, 69 versus 69. Or versus okay. 69. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so yeah, we are coming back with Boots, Rain Gear, Lemon, Frank West, Jimmy Franks, John Toast, Portax, uh, maybe or maybe not Victor and our artist for this final hour will be Trav. Get one more lap and you don't, 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 don't atrophy. We're going to be finding random wiki out. It's going to be fucking Mainly awesome. talking to himself this whole time. Yay, I'm free! <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Jack Chick, I love you. Bye. Uh, Thanks for coming. I love you. And also, uh, Positronic. Yeah, oh, yeah, Positronic. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, anime oh, versions yeah. of many different things. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Man, <laughs> into those tits right now. Positronic, I'm sure you're glad that this is the last picture you'll be remembered by. <laughs> Going off on a high one. I know. <laughs> Two high ones from the look of it. I yeah. Hey, up top. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Stick around. We'll be right back.